Ryder, could we chat? I don't believe it! Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it! Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty-hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. I can see how you'd feel that way. Seriously? Look, Callow, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. The Tempest is ours now. She has to serve our mission first in whatever capacity we need. Gil, change whatever you have to. I wonder, in time, will strangers be treating your achievements so carelessly? Peace and quiet, finally. Thanks, Ryder. Okay, show's over. Back to it. 